The Honorable Prime Minister has given us a vision for a $5 trillion economy by 2024-25. This is rupees 375 lakh crores in nominal GDP terms. In turn, it implies that India has to sustain a real GDP growth rate of 8% per annum. Now, international evidence suggests that such high growth has only been sustained by a virtuous cycle of savings, investment, and exports, supported by demographic dividend. East Asia is a good illustration of this growth model. However, it should be noted that this approach significantly deviates from conventional textbook economics based on equilibriums. First, note that high investment is driven by availability of cheap capital that in turn is driven by high savings rates, although foreign investment also plays a, a part in this. In conventional economics, savings rates are influenced by real interest rates. But the evidence is clear that it is demographics and growth that drive savings, not interest rates. Now, this provides a crucial degree of freedom to lower the cost of capital on a structural basis in India. Second, conventional economics puts a lot of emphasis on the substitutability of labor and capital. The survey argues that this is only true in a silo. When the full value chain is considered, labor and capital are complements. Again, China is a good illustration of this. In the last two decades, for ex example, China has invested almost half of its GDP while deploying hundreds of millions of workers. So the survey argues that we should worry less about whether or not an investment is labor or capital intensive and focus on whether or not the investment is efficient and whether it's adding to our international competitiveness. Third, exports are a key component of this strategy because high savings rates preclude domestic consumption as a driver of final demand. Hence, India will have to focus on export competitiveness if it wishes to opt for the investment-driven model. Now, some economists may say that the international trade environment is currently weak, but India's share in world exports is small, and we need to focus on growing our share. 